Hello there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to make some beautiful wax seals, both real faux wax seals and faux faux wax seals. And instead of using a metal sealer, what we're going to use is our peg stamps from Rubber Stamp Tapestry. You can find the stamps I used or hundreds of others at pegstamps.com. I recommend using the mini size because that's almost exactly the same size as a real metal seal that you would use. So the first thing I'm going to show you here is using a real uh, sealing wax. Now this is a um, almost looks like a hard little candle that you light the wick, but I was having a hard time keeping this wick lit. I think probably because this was a really old um, wax stick. And then you would drip your wax onto your envelope. And here I have a couple pressed flowers down first to um, to kind of include in under the seal because I thought it was pretty, but I ran into a problem here. Now, if you look, I'm having some difficulty pulling the stamp away. And what happened was I did not prime my stamp. So before you do any of this, you want to make sure you've got a good Good coat of Versamark ink or glycerin on your stamp and that's going to act as a release. So this time I'm pressing it into the gob of wax. You got to let it cool. So this could take um, a minute uh, and then you can peel it off and see how much better it looks once you've got that stamp primed. You can actually use a pigment ink for that as well, but I'm just using plain clear Versamark so that I don't have ink everywhere. Now you can use any type of like skeleton leaves, string, threads, uh, pressed flowers, anything flat like that you want to include. You could do like strips cut from books, like uh, text and stuff. You can really be creative, as, as creative as you want. And I do recommend hand delivering this because this would not make it through the postal service. But if you do need to mail it, just put it inside a like a padded bubble mailer and it would get there fine. But this is definitely not to go naked through the postal service. Now for this technique, we're actually going to use some plain old crayons and I love this because it's so inexpensive and you have a huge rainbow of colors to pick from. This actually melts a lot easier than the sealing wax because it's a softer wax and this uh, does a really good job of, of adhering those um, delicate inclusions to the envelope as well. By the way this is a really great idea for gift wrap too because um, it would be so pretty and you could use larger things on gift wrap and even bigger stamps if you wanted to. So after that's melted you can carefully peel off the stamp. Remember, each time you use a stamp, you want to prime it in your Versamark, and it just gives you a really pretty debossed impression. I think that's lovely, and you've got so many color choices. Um, here I was just playing with some novelty yarn. Sometimes you have to, you know, fuss with it a bit, try a few things before you figure out what works, but I thought this little yarn with the flags was kind of pretty, and um, I do love the skeleton leaves, and I have some that I've had in my stash for like probably 20 years and I just love adding them to things. And then of course some pressed flowers. Now you can be really um, generous with the inclusions for this med uh, method because we're going to use hot glue, which is really strong. Now I'm using a glitter glue stick and I got these at the Dollar Tree. So a very affordable product here. And um, you get like a pack of 20 for a buck or something. It's crazy. And I just think it's so pretty. And that glue is going to spread out a bit and then you just want to gently set the stamp in there. Remember, primed generously with Versamark ink so it will release and then you do have to just kind of let it cool. This is going to take longer to cool than any of the other methods because that molten hot glue just stays hot longer. And here I'm just gently peeling it back and there you can see the beautiful debossed leaf impression I have there. I think this is really pretty. That would be great on a gift because it is a little bigger than the other seals we were doing. Now I tried a few different ways to use embossing powder um, with this method and uh, I tried getting a really molten, you know, layers and layers and layers of embossing powder, but it was just really messy. So what I found worked really well, good was taking some hot glue and it could be clear for this um, technique and then just pouring the embossing powder on top and kind of stirring it in and then I would reheat it with my heat tool just to get everything good and melty. Um, I think because I craft in my basement and it's pretty chilly I just couldn't build up layers of embossing powder well enough. Uh, maybe in the summer I could or if you had a melting pot you could just melt the embossing powder and pour it onto your project and that would work just fine. Now this time I'm actually going to ink my stamp up with some gold ink and that's going to give me a pretty two-tone design. Um, it just looks looks really cute I think and I thought this little crab uh, <laughs> stamp would be really cute so here you'll see it and there this way you get a couple different colors and I think it looks really cute even though it's simpler because it doesn't have the inclusions and the hot glue um, will be a little bit stronger that adds a little strength to the embossing powder too to keep it from flaking off so that's another reason I like that method now this method here is clay you can use air dry clay or polymer clay and just roll it into a ball flatten it to a disc and then just press an inked stamp 
onto the clay. You could do the clear ink or the pigment ink for this. Pigment ink will cure if you are using it on polymer clay and baking like I'm going to do. And then you'll just need to glue everything down onto your envelope um, to kind of seal it because the clay obviously is going to be hard and not going to be adhesive. So I think that gives you quite a few fun ways to give a, um, a cool old fashioned look to your projects. I love the look of wax seals and I just think it's one of those timeless looks. It would also be really cute for party invitations like we did a Harry Potter birthday party for my son when he turned uh, I think it was 10 um, and we did seals on the envelopes and it just looked really cool and uh, it also be really fun for weddings and whatnot. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial if so please give me a thumbs up and check out our sponsor Rubber Stamp Tapestry you can find them at pegstamps.com thanks for watching until next time happy crafting